So which one of these three things do you think my Apple Watch Series 4 thinks has a heartbeat? And yes, that chicken is not very well at all. I know it was a really difficult question, but the actual answer is all three of them. That's right, my Apple Watch Series 4 believes that all three of those objects has a heartbeat. So when you're taking your own heartbeat and you're listening to the accuracy and all the detailed information that was given to you at the keynote, you have to be confident that the heartbeat you're being told is the heartbeat that is actually happening. So let's have a look at what we do when we pitch this against some other objects. So an apple, for instance, not the company, but the fruit. So let's have a look at this plain old Granny Smith and see whether we're gonna get a heartbeat reading from this. Okay, so it's measuring. So it's measuring still. 92 beats per minute for this Granny Smith apple. I know what some of you are thinking, you were holding it and so therefore that had an effect on the reading. So let's pop it down. There is no jiggery pokery or any illusions or editing. This is just an apple wearing a watch. An apple watch as it happens. And yes, it has gone down now to 33 beats per minute. Okay, what about an orange? Apples and oranges, it's only fair to test the Apple's nemesis, the orange, and let's have a look what reading we get there. I know you are all probably nervous. Have you got a number in mind? Higher or lower than the Apple? It's higher, 88 beats per minute. That is absolutely incredible. 101, it's just shut up to 101 beats per minute for the orange. And again, just in case you thought me holding it was giving it an unfair reading, let's just double check what we're gonna get now. It's dropped down to 32, so maybe me holding the orange in some way is sending some type of beating heart through it. Oh, it's just jumped up to 118 beats per minute without me holding it. What is causing this, guys? So, the one that we've been waiting for, the one that we definitely know is dead, and that is the chicken. Now, you may have seen that the head has been removed and we have had a medical examiner check for a heartbeat and we couldn't find one. So this chicken is 100% officially dead. In fact, the heart has been removed. Let's see if the Apple Watch agrees. So obviously when conducting these scientific experiments, it's important that the watch is touching the skin perfectly, hence why we have removed the strap because it was one of those wraparound straps and didn't actually go close to the skin unless you're wearing it in a cylindrical type device like an arm. So we measured this one and start to start off with, we just did not get a reading. So we thought maybe we're not putting it close enough to the heart of the actual chicken or where the heart used to be. So we moved it and as you can see, we're now on the breast of the chicken, the lower breast of the chicken, which is probably where the heart would have been somewhere nearby. And let's see whether we can get a reading here. So it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it still. There we go, and a very healthy, I have to say, a very, very healthy 77 beats. Oh, dropping though, dropping. We might need to call a crash team if it drops much further. And obviously the warning and the alerts that Apple will possibly send out if it dropped very low, I don't want to happen with this chicken. So let's just have a look to see whether any other items we can gain a heartbeat from. Now, I am partial to a Belgian beer, no advertising intended, guys but it's important to know if you have got a heart running through your beer and whether or not you're gonna get a reading. So as you can see, not touching anything else, taking it through to the app. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, come on. Are you alive? Oh my God, 
to 105 beats per minute. That is insane. 204. Wow. One of the fastest heartbeats I've ever recorded on any inanimate object, it has to be said. The chicken was quite dead compared to this. My PlayStation controller. Oh, 88 beats per minute. Again, a very, very reasonable and fair reading. So, guys, I would like some information on this. Now, I have tested it with other devices, and I do have to say it is not just the Apple Watch that is doing it. Any one of my fitness bands and fitness trackers is getting readings from any object, including a dead chicken. So, what does that mean? Does it mean that it is accurate or not? So guys, this was just a little bit of fun, but thanks as always for watching this video and leave a comment if you know the reason in the box. I'll see you on the next video.